In this video, we're going to look at one of the really cool features about Racket, the ability to manipulate images in the same way that we can manipulate things like numbers and strings in Racket and more traditional programming languages. Now this is going to be based on the material in the prologue of How to Design Program 2nd Edition. Um, and they tell us how we can use images in our programs and the copy-paste method that they talk about here, that doesn't work for me. I don't know if it's a problem of the browsers that I'm using or if it's an operating systems issue, but I can't get that to work. So I'm going to instead illustrate using the insert image approach, which requires actually saving this image to your hard drive, uh, which they don't actually talk about doing. So we're going to walk through saving this image, and then we'll see the ability to do a couple of simple manipulations on images and in a later video, we'll look at animating these images and having the rocket come down and land. So the first thing we have to do is actually save a copy of this image uh, to our computer. And uh, on most computers, in most browsers, if you click, right-click or control-click on the image, um, you'll get a little pop-up menu, and one of your options will be Save Image As. The details are going to depend on your browser. This is Chrome but something similar should be the case in pretty much any browser that you use. And so we're going to save the image and I'm going to save it in my video folder and the image is rocket-s.jpg jpeg. So that's the name of the image file. So if you see something different here, you're probably not saving the right thing. So I'm going to save the image and now I can over here uh, load that image up. I can go to insert image. Um, I go to make sure I'm in the right folder, which I am. Select the file, open it, and lo and behold, there's my little rocket image. And when I hit return, which is essentially the same as saying evaluate that thing, the value of the rocket image is itself in the same way that the value of five is five. So uh, that's really cool. Now I want to be able to do stuff with that like they do here in the book. Um, to do that I'm going to have to load the image library. So I'm going to grab that require statement and this will load the image library for the second edition of the book which gives us tools that allow us to manipulate images and then we can do things like compute the compute the width of the image and the height of the image and multiply those together to get the total number of pixels in the image. So the product of image height and now I'm going to go insert image get my little rocket dude image width and I need my little rocket dude again Boom, boom. And now if I run this, I get 1,176, which is uh, the total number of pixels in the image. And that matches what they get in the book. So that's very exciting. Um, so there's a whole library of tools out there in the image library that we can use to manipulate images in various ways. And we'll see a more interesting example of this uh, in an upcoming video where we'll actually animate this image uh, and make a little movie. So, thank you very much.